Well, we did a ton of great shows at Palookaville and the Catalyst over the years. And uh, I remember um, one of the first times I played there, I had my um, little son, Ade, who was, who was there. And um, we went to the roller coaster. And he was really excited to get on the roller coaster until about like 10 seconds in. And he, we both we both freaked out because it's wood. It's actually yeah. a wooden roller coaster. Yeah, and it doesn't look like it's that much, you know, it doesn't do all kinds of spins, but it's so shaky. It's like this chair, you know, it's like. <laughs> Noisy. <laughs> yeah. So that was a good, that was a good, good wake up call. Yeah. I just remember loving the gigs at Bloopville and, and, uh, and the Catalyst. I mean, just so packed and tight in there. And um, I remember we had this old keyboard player, Ramon, who was so tight and hot in there. He just, he couldn't, he came back to the dressing room and he just said, oh my God, it's too hot. He fell down the stairs <laughs> yeah. and laid down on the floor. He said, oh God, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. That's how tight and packed it was. It was awesome, man, nice. great sales. Also, we did a show at the Civic Center yeah, it was nice with uh, Carl Denson. I remember it was a, a great show. Uh, Woody Harrelson came. He was backstage <laughs> one at the, one of the shows. Yeah. And he had these goo balls. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and he ate the whole thing at once. And he was so buzzed. He pulled down his pants and people, everybody around him pulled down their pants. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, this crazy shit that's coming to my mind. Thank God there was, there was no social media then. No, no, it's not social media. What are we doing? Social, social media, media, man, but it was hilarious, man. We're about to play at Red Rocks in uh, Colorado. Colorado. That is an amazing venue, and, I, and we kind of treat it like the Super Bowl. We quit. Like, it's, it's, and it's always in the beginning of our tour, so we kind of put our best foot forward, and it propels us into the rest of uh, the cities that we have after that. So uh, that would have to be the top one. Pretty much everywhere, I mean, it's the same message, it's the same response across the world, you know, it's the same. So we can't really pick, like, this is better. Everybody have the same impact, my money there. Yeah, we just did Byron Bay. That's one of my favorites. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Australia, it went off, man. Two nights in a row, it was, yeah. it was crazy. I mean, music is a great leavener, you know, it's like, um, people come in with whatever weight from the world that they're carrying from their lives personally and they come out and as soon as the music hits you see them start to dance you see them start to open up they smile they laugh they sing along they high five a stranger they hug their best friend they sing loud and out of tune with thousands of other people and go out feeling just like a little bit taller you know and that's that's why I've you know and all of us have committed our lives to music is for that that experience because we believe in, you know, the healing power of music to get people through the challenging times of all of our lives. And, and right now is an incredibly challenging time. So, man, feeling, it feels man. good. It was, a it was a, a painful time for yeah. so many musicians, you know, and, um, you know, for those of us who've been doing this for, you know, 30 plus years, you get used to it and, um, never thought that the thing that would take it away from us would be like a tiny germ that you can't even see that happened i also lost my uh, my father died of covid during sorry, the yeah. pandemic and so it, it was a, a tough time but it also gave all of us um a deeper appreciation for how fragile life is and how fragile this work that we get to do is and and what a blessing it is to be able to serve in this way you know mm. i am the new guy so We're a new guy <laughs> yeah so i'm so excited to be uh, this summer tour, we just started the summer tour today and I'm so excited, you know, to just travel or around the country, go to Red Rocks, uh, to one, actually one of my favorite, uh, venues is in Tennessee and it's inside of a cave. What is the name? The cavern. The cavern. Yeah. 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 So that's a really, really good experience. Can't wait to be there again. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela. Landing us in the house. Go play on the bus, go <laughs> yeah, exactly. sing outside the venue, do something. Yeah, we drive them to Ma. It's <laughs> hard, we, hard to we bring stay, the we yeah, stay yeah. out on stage and sing acoustic, play acoustic. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, nice. Sometimes we get off the bus and party, party, party. Party bus, <laughs> and keep singing more. <laughs> you know, in some ways, a home town show for us uh, we're all from san francisco or the bay area that's where you've been based 
and um you know there's a vibe and an energy to northern california and to me it's really uh one of acceptance of other people acceptance of people being different and um i feel like the message of northern california is vital right now with everything that's happening in our country you see all the hatred against the lgbtq plus community hatred uh, against um, black people with the you know um, in Florida, book bannings, Asian violence, you know, violence, against Asians. Violence, violence against Asians. This going back to, you know, um, gender roles that are from some crazy time a long time ago that we I thought we had already moved through all this BS. You know, so um, our our tour is called the Big Big Love Tour, and the idea is that all of us have this capacity to love, and it starts with yourself, and it moves out into your family, into your loved ones and then it goes out into your community and out into the world and out into all of humanity and all of nature and, and we're all just like an ant or a blade of grass we're, we're really no different it's somewhere along the way people decide like you have to be this way or that way you've got to follow this rule this regulation for how people should be or think or feel big big love is to have the capacity to hold love for all of it you know to be able to say that i can uh you know, fight for the environment. But if I'm not taking care of my family at home, what's, what's the point? And same thing and vice versa. So big, big love is to be able to have both, to be able to hold space for people, other people to be different, be themselves and for you to be who you are. I don't know. I mean, at some point we, we might want to, it was, it was very challenging. I got to say to yeah. put on a free festival for yeah. 80,000 people every year and, and expensive <laughs> too. And, um, and then, you know, the, the city each year, raised basically raised our rent each year you know and charge more and more and especially for the policing you know and it just got to be so expensive we couldn't do it anymore um but it was it was you know it was something i really look back on as a really fun time and i wish that it didn't have to end you know but um you know, maybe there'll be a, a different kind of resurrection of it as claudio mentioned this is our our first show of the summer tour and uh it's you know, I've been reminded throughout this year how much of a blessing it is what we actually do for a living um, with a lot of the things that Michael was talking about earlier. I mean, the mental health is, is a huge issue in this country. Yeah. Um, economic scales are very heavy on people coming out of the pandemic. And the fact that we're still able to do this when during the pandemic we couldn't do it at all. Yeah. Uh, it's really something that I don't take for granted. I don't think any of us do. And uh, so I'm just really happy to, to go out there and make people stay for the couple hours that we're up there and um, to continue to do that throughout the summer. I mean, it's just like, this is a dream. It's a yeah. dream. I'm so excited for, I mean, the weather is kind of cold, but I'm, I'm ready to go there and just, you know, beat the stage and yeah, light it up. Bay Area, right? Get some new songs heard. Nice. On the new album. some new stuff, you know. Getting, out, getting that energy going out there. I think just, you know, encourage one another to, to speak and speak up and to talk about whatever's happening in your life. And, you know, there's nothing that we, any of us face that's insurmountable. And a lot of times we need help. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's fine to have problems, but it's not fine if you don't ask for help. Yeah. You know, that's how we all get into trouble, you know. <laughs> And so uh, just to encourage one another and, and to be open to hear each other as friends. And when you need professional help to not be ashamed to, or afraid to, to go there too. But, but I really feel like more than anything else, it's the people, you know, the five people in your life that are closest to you. That's really your mental health support network right there. Yeah, that's a wrap. Thanks. All right, dear, so I appreciate it, man. Yeah.